Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at an application called Goodlock. It's a Samsung-based application that was supposed to provide us with some enhancements and changes in the UI, at least the way it works on the S7 and the S7 Edge, the way it comes out of the box. So we're going to check it out and see is it better, is it worse, does it actually provide us with some things that we've been missing for some time, or does it just basically just do nothing and just confuses things even more. So this is TK, let's check it out. Today we're going to take a look at an application that was pushed by Samsung to the S7 and the S7 Edge. Now you don't have to download it by default, you can update it directly to your, using the uh, Samsung App Store that's on your device, but one of the main differences that this application will do to us is we'll have some aesthetics uh, differences with the UI that we have on the system. You notice right away um, out of the box here, let me go back. I actually have more shortcuts now by default from Samsung to be able to uh, launch and do other applications or basically just start any activity I want directly from the lock screen. The other thing that we have here that we don't have here, uh, we don't have a way really of interacting with the actual widget on top. And at this point, we actually have the ability of adding additional widgets that we can actually use. So you can add your music widget, you can add your, let's say, Gmail, whatever. But the main benefit is it's not sitting on your lock screen, but you can swipe down directly without unlocking the device and get access to those widgets. And it's a really, really nice quick access toggle. Uh, the other thing that we have that we didn't have before, you'll notice the notification panel changed. Uh, we went away from the uh, little uh, paginated versions here that if we open up, we can see all the different uh, toggles. Here we have more closer to AOSP based kind of uh, lock screen. You have the slider for the automatic screen brightness. Uh, we have the ability to turn on uh, do not disturb. 4G LTE is the signal, obviously. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight, auto rotation, and an airplane mode. Most of the things that you'd normally want to get. Uh, battery percentage is showing, search. This is the uh, new options for the Good Lock app, and I'll show you guys the application itself in a second. And then this is normal settings. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and unlock the device. We'll go in directly into the UI. There was another uh, nice update that they did. Uh, so if I bring down the notification panel from the top, you'll notice right out of the box, um, I now have all the shortcuts that I had before. They're more compressed. And if I open it up all the way, they come back. But the other thing is now we have an all and keep. Keep and all are basically the two sections that we have that we are able to basically say, okay, these are all my standard notifications. And if I don't want to interface with this, I swipe it to the left. But if I swipe it to the right, it goes into my keep bin. And I'm able to go in and find whatever I want. So like in this situation, I'm updating some applications here. I have some other uh, icons or other things that were going on. But other than that, we can go in directly into the All tab and see what we have. Uh, the main benefit here is now you have management. You have the ability to basically say, look, I don't want to look at it right now, but I want to look at it later. I can do that. Last but not least, let's go ahead and unlock the UI. The Recents tab did change as well. Uh, we went away from the paginated version, which is what normally stock Android looks like. This is where kind of Samsung did kind of diverse. Uh, they didn't want to basically stick with it. Uh, they went with more of a kind of a list-based style, and it lists all my applications. It has some nice animation, and it kind of scrolls in. One of the reasons why I really like it, all the applications that support multi-window are actually now able to be popped up as just floating windows. So if I press and hold, Phoenix will open up, but Phoenix won't open up in full screen. It should open up just basically. We'll do that one more time. Again, this is just a recent version update on it. Uh, let's go to Chrome. Let's go YouTube. I want to show you guys YouTube. So you'll notice YouTube opened up and it's sitting basically in, uh, let's say, keep writing. Uh, it sits basically now in a multi, in a recent, basically just a small popped up window. Um, I can close it. I can go back here, scroll down. eBay supports it. I can press and hold it. And then I'll have eBay opened up here. And it's just a much easier way of doing this interface where we used to have to basically just always have to go in, say open. The old system, well, I'll just actually show you guys right here. So the way we would do it here, essentially, is you'll notice that this application has a pop-up option. I can press and hold it here, and then at this point, I'm actually able to access it. It's slightly different here because it's much simpler. Now what we do is we go directly into our app launcher, and we can just basically launch it directly from there. And not only that, you notice that the little shortcuts that I had before are now part of the screen. So I can always have access to the shortcuts that I customized for the lock screen from the Recents app, where in the Recents app here, all we had is the ability to close all. We still have that function here, but now we have much better configuration on it. I like the fact of how this thing works. Uh, I'm not really too comfortable with the aesthetics in the sense of the color scheme. I'll go ahead and open up and check out this app. The application in itself is just called Good Luck lock, sorry, good lock. Uh, routines is basically the configuration of how this application works. Uh, you have the ability of creating your own routine, but by default, you can go in, you can customize the way the, the watch looks like. This is, they just have different ones here. I like to go with the standard one. 
uh, once you have the routine set with the colors you basically jump in directly into step three almost you go next you can set up the quick toggles which ones they are you don't have to check this because this, by checking it you're turning it on but they are there you can customize the different colors they have much better uh, they have very big palettes here um, and again we can go next and you can customize basically if you have widgets and if you have notifications and what applications you can from this point um, you don't have to you can customize it later but let's say i want to go in and say i want to add another widget um, i'll go ahead and add we'll go ahead and hit that and then i say add here and i can find a widget within all my applications widgets so it'll bring up a list of all the widgets that are available on this device and you can just basically select it and put one whatever you want uh, we'll go ahead and go back out um, I didn't want to change the aesthetics overall, but you notice that the scheme at the top here is now a wider scheme. The themes don't install very well. So I, even though I have a theme installed from the theme store on Samsung, it doesn't really, it's not compatible with it yet. So that's one thing I want to mention to you guys. So I have the zero dark theme um, and it's supposed to have basically all the, uh, the darker theme colors. And if I disable the good lock app, I get it back. But otherwise you notice it went back to wider colors at the top. Hopefully in a future update, we'll be able to get a better experience here. Again, this is a good, just quick interface. I like the way they're going. I like the functionality. The one really main thing that I really like about this right now that just blew me out because they took this away few few versions ago of, of, of TouchWiz. It, so this is not really about the song itself. Let's go ahead and, I just want to show you guys, when you lock your device on a Samsung device, typically you don't get the album art. And now album art is back by default using the Good Lock app. Very, very nice. I'm very happy with it. Of course, we're still able to interface I'll go back with the actual widget itself and you can just uh, click it open it up it takes you back into the actual uh, music playing application uh, the main reason why i like this is i've always wanted that out of my devices whenever i'm playing a song i like to see my album art that's something i actually like and if i don't want it i can disable it now. using this for a couple of days now it's been really really nice having the some of the features that i used to love about having um you know uh, shortcuts on the lock screen outside of just two obviously the unlock and the camera um, and even with last year, they even took out some of the shortcuts where it was just the camera and some versions of the UI. So now we have the ability of adding not only just our favorites, but even add rows of applications. Uh, so that's very, very nice. The other thing, the ability to add widgets, the ability to have uh, more a closer to AOSP based uh, toggles as far as our, our toggle panel, we'll be able to bring it down. Uh, those are things that I like. Um, I also like the fact that now we're able to basically just have uh, the ability to just jump straight into a directly into a pop-up window from the Recents app. Uh, but it, you obviously will be able to see all your well, a lot more of your Recents app at the same time. Now this is on the positive end. Uh, the not so positive end. I think this is early in the sense where the way the functionalities are implemented are off. The color schemes, you can't really customize them that well. Uh, they're pretty much preset. You have to scroll through the wheel that they have and whatever color you pick has the aesthetics built into it. And almost all of them, all of them have a white notification panel or somewhat of a light version of a notification panel. So if you have a theme installed, that's more of a dark based theme uh, material like the one I had installed on my device, it doesn't interface with it. It just sort of totally forgets about it. Uh, of course, on the positive end, again, jumping back, we actually get lock screen album art back, which is something that I've been missing on Samsung devices for some time. I don't know why they took it away. They give us the, the actual widget on the lock screen so that we're actually able to play the music, but the ability to see the song or the album art, it's just been taken away. And I love that on my Nexus 6P. Uh, so I installed it on the S7 Edge. I haven't installed it on the Nexus, uh, sorry, on the S7 yet, mostly because I want to see basically the differences. Uh, oh, the last thing I wanted to mention that kind of not necessarily a bad thing, but just more of a personal preference, uh, having the way the application just show up in that such a little, little option. And all it does, it just gives us the icon for the application itself. It doesn't give us the ability to see a preview what that is. It's a little hard. And I like the cart style UI that they had in, well, A, AOSB, and the version of Android that we have here on the S7, the stock version without the good lock application. So I think it's moving in the right direction. I think Samsung's trying to listen to their users. I'm hoping the next update or so we'll have some more customizations and more support for themes, uh, as this is one of the main things. A lot of people love having themes and changing their icon packs, but when it's not unison and when it's not consistent across the border, it's just gonna give for a weird mixed bag uh, kind of an experience and people may not like it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll give you guys a link to the application itself. It is through the Samsung application store, so you need to out download that from there. Uh, but it's really easy to be able to install. Once you install it, it reboots the system and it's there. If you don't like it, you can uninstall it and go back to the stock experience and it works the exact same way. This is TK. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and share. Thank you very much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next one.
welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a set of cases that was sent to me by a company called Simo. Now, and we'll go ahead and just do a quick unboxing. Uh, nothing really very specific.